subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Clouded Leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother, since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a rare friend with you today. Why is it rare, Ranger Rocky? Clouded leopards are rare because not many of them are left in the wild, and they are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible! Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because their homes in the forest are cut down for human use. They are also hunted for their patterned fur. You should look for the cub's mother. She can keep it safe. Look for tall trees with lots of shade. That's where the clouded leopard hides. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. <coughs> oh no! The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? <coughs> Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub! We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. 
Let's go! Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. What to do? I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. <laughs> we did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan tiger. Hero, where are you, Hero? <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <laughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! Not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose! <gasps> what? Ow! <laughs> what are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! We should protect Malayan tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger, 
Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a Malayan tiger cub. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring the tiger cub back to its mother. That's great, Leo. But you must be careful not to get close to adult tigers. They might mistake you for prey and attack. Oh, dear. We'll be super careful, Ranger Rocky. What else should we know about Malayan tigers? A mother Malayan tiger usually has one to five cubs. These cubs stay with her for a year and a half before leaving to find their own home. During the time with their mother, the cubs will learn how to hunt and stalk prey. If you want to find the cub's mother, you should keep a lookout for places with tall grass. Tigers prefer to live in tall grass, where they can hide from predators and ambush their prey. Good luck and stay safe, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. We're here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger cub! Oh, no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches, but we can't go into the grass to check. There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this. Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger cub. I got you, little one. We did it. We found the tiger cub's mother. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a Malayan tiger cub in our garden. We learned that Malayan tigers are endangered and that tiger cubs need their mother to be protected. So we went to the forest and brought the tiger cub back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The South African cheetah. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible, or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there? It's an owl, and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? 
Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the savanna, Junior Rangers. What are you doing up there, Ranger Rocky? Illegal hunters have been spotted nearby, so I'm on the lookout for them. Up here, I have a good view of the savanna. Ah, I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible! We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters, and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. What? The Jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. I got you, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters. We did it! We found the Cheetah Cubs family! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Hooray! We found a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.